I was thinking about the internet this morning and I thought I'd share my thoughts with you people. I really enjoy the internet. I mean, I think it's a huge advantage because I think that it enables communication that wouldn't otherwise be possible. I mean, just the, the YouTube channels as one example. There's no way that I would get to um, uh, connect and communicate with all the people that I have been on uh, YouTube without it. There's just no way. And uh, not only YouTube, but other social media or blogs or whatever, you know, I've, I've got a couple blogs and um, over the years I've communicated with a lot of uh, really worthwhile people made some, uh, I would call them friendships, even though I've never met them. And so I've gotten a tremendous amount out of using the internet that would never have occurred without it. And I think one of the big strengths of the net is communication, right? But that has a downside too. And, and one thing I've noticed is you know, as in uh, Twitter, for example, or um, even email, it seems that brevity is highly prized. Well, I think brevity is a good thing too, but brevity in order to, let's say, eliminate the fluff in conversation, you know, it's kind of like in writing, period is your best friend. You know, keep the sentences short, don't put in any phrases or words that don't add to the meaning to get your point across. So I think brevity in that sense is a good thing. But I feel that it's gone too far. There was a day, not that long ago, when it was common practice to send letters to people. And that was the way to communicate because there was no net and long distance phone calls were horrendously expensive. And so people wrote letters. I think in the 1800s in certain areas of the world, for instance, it was um, considered a good thing to be a person who wrote letters and the letters were meaningful. They weren't just chit-chat, you know, about the weather or whatever. They got into subjects that were important. And I find now, and maybe it's because of the influence of the net, as in Twitter, that people are um, impatient with anything that goes beyond a couple sentences. So I don't know, that's just my thought. And I'm probably biased because I have a tendency to be really wordy. I try to eliminate the useless words, but I do have a tendency to really get into stuff because that's the way my mind works. My mind just uh, is Obviously, all of our minds are way ahead of our uh, mouth in, in that respect, you know. We, we think a lot more than we talk. Well, I certainly hope we do. And so the content of my mind, there's no way that I could ever express that in words or even in writing because it just goes too far. And I'm always holding back with people when I talk or when I write, you know. I'm always... Um, watching myself because, oh, well, you don't want to get too carried into this here, John. You know, keep it short. But I guess that makes me a little biased in this subject about brevity and communication and as it relates to the net. So what do you people think? And no two-word answers. <laughs> Do you think the internet is um, really useful for expanding communication or do you think that communication suffers 
because people are afraid to speak their minds because it's public you know that's another thing about the net everyone's so worried about oh my god you know i don't want all my information out there on the net what information are we speaking about here because most of the information that you put on the net in order to engage in social media for instance is your choice I mean, heavens, you don't even have to have your real name for that matter, but yet you can still communicate on a meaningful level. A lot of people who get paranoid about privacy on the net don't understand the kind of control that they do have. So do you think that that communication suffers because people don't want to expose themselves? I find a lot of people don't um, don't talk about, let's say, subjects to do with how they feel or, uh, let's say, their um, emotional response to something um, or deeper thoughts because they're embarrassed. Uh, you know, I think they they feel, oh well, you know, what'll everyone think of me? You know, what'll the guys think? That sort of thing. But I think that's kind of lame. I mean. You know, if you're not confident enough about yourself to speak your mind, and to uh, let the world know more or less what type of person you are by speaking your truth, by just being who you are, and you know, without having to feel that you have to manufacture a persona in order to be accepted, I think that's lame. I think we should all feel comfortable to just be who we are. And then, and then by being who we are, by uh, expressing that and putting it out there, sometimes, you know, it's undeveloped. Sometimes we're undeveloped, right? And, and then we see that. So we critique ourselves and we say, oh, well, you know, like, that didn't come out right, or uh, I'm not expressing that well, or uh, whatever. But, you know, so then that's how we learn. So we shouldn't be afraid of making those mistakes either, you know? God knows I've made thousands of them. But I'd rather make mistakes and learn than not give myself the opportunity to learn by, by hiding myself and just being some false persona. My mom, who passed away several years back, She used to say, John, don't hide your light under a bushel. She always said that to me. Probably because she knew that that's what I was doing. I was, you know, I've done a lot of that. But the older I get, the um, clearer it becomes that she was correct. So, thank you, Mom. I finally get it. So there you go. There are some thoughts for today, ladies and gentlemen. I think I've only had one comment from a woman on my uh, YouTube channel that I know of. But I'm sure there's women out there that watch these vlogs. So let's hear from you. So take care, have fun, ride safe.